program and today lecture will be delivered by dr chandrabhanu sir uh, he is the principal scientist in our institute icr indian institute of farming system research and uh, sir will deliver a lecture on preparation of different herbal non chemical formulations for pest and disease management in organic farming and dr chandrabhanu sir is have uh, very much expertise on field level because he has done a lot of work on farmers field and he has already trained many farmers for the preparation of such kind of the formulations which are uh, uh, that uh, effectively that manage the pest pest and diseases and uh, today uh, you will learn about this and kindly i request to you kindly interact with uh, chandwaro sir if you feel any confusion or uh, the any queries in between also and now the session is over to you sir chandwaro sir please thank you thank you dr miraj ji so very good morning all the participants so uh, we started a study we were discussing about uh, uh, integrated pest and uh, disease management in organic farming so my voice is which will uh, participants should respond yes sir audible sir ha ah, so good morning to all of you good morning good morning sir good morning sir good morning sir good morning good morning so how was the session started about all the uh, presenters so we, whether we are moving in right direction or uh, is there any scope for improvement no sir right direction right direction right direction na right? so okay so uh, uh, so I, I i should start my discussion so uh, yesterday we were uh, discussing about integrated pest and disease management in organic farming so as you uh, all know that uh, uh, nitrogen management as well as pest management they are the very critical problems in organic farming uh, if you are able to manage the nitrogen and as well as pest and disease uh, you will be a successful organic farmer so uh, in uh, uh, integrated pest and disease management under organic farming uh, uh, our uh, 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 program uh, entirely depends upon preventive methods of pest control uh, there are no silver bullet solutions like insecticide herbicide or other type of pesticide in case of organic farming uh, so our total pest and disease control program depends upon the preventive method cultural method biological method all type of non chemical methods uh, in a integrated manner so uh, before uh, uh, during the planning of our crop we must know about uh, what kind of crop we are going to uh, take at our organic farm and what kind of uh, uh, pest and diseases are likely to affect our crop accordingly we have to uh, sound our integrated pest and disease management program and preventive and cultural method must be given uh, more uh, emphasis uh, in our integrated pest and disease management program so uh, for effective management of uh, pest and disease we must have some ready made products uh, just one minute ha uh, sid kumar ji आए sorry for disturbance uh, 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 so i was discussing about uh, when uh, we are going to manage a pest and disease in organic farming uh, we must have some ready made preparations which can be uh, used to in case of uh, either uh, there is insect attack or uh, likely attack of any disease uh, as a uh, uh, that uh, ready preparedness we must have some Uh, concoctions uh, they may be 
that uh, organic preparations or herbal preparations or some biocontrol agents uh, which can be applied uh, as a remedy to control various kind of pest and disease so uh, today we will discuss about different kind of herbal and organic preparations uh, their uh, preparation protocol and how uh, they are they can be used in our organic uh, production of crops so uh, uh, if uh, we discuss about botanical and organic uh, preparations uh, for insect pest management so there are two kinds of uh, we can categorize them in uh, two category uh, first is that uh, cold preparation and uh, uh, next one is hot preparation based on the their uh, type of methodology of preparations they are categorized into two categories cold preparation and hot preparation in uh, cold preparation uh, uh, their characteristic is that they are uh, comparatively easy uh, to prepare and uh, they are comparatively cheaper than the hot preparations and but uh, since uh, they are uh, prepared using fermentation methods so they take comparatively longer time uh, uh, to our final product become ready for use so examples of cold preparations are nimastra the sperni extract broad spectrum solution and neem seed kernel extract uh, in another category uh, that is hot preparations uh, these preparations are comparatively uh, difficult to prepare and comparatively costly because uh, we have to have a uh, lot of uh, uh, inputs to prepare them uh, gas gas cylinder gas stove everything will be requ required uh, in case of hot preparations and they take uh, one to two days for final product to become ready for uh, application uh, so examples are agniastra brahmastra chili garlic extract uh, cold preparations we must have some time uh, to wait for uh, that final product become ready but hot preparations can be Uh, readily prepared within one to two days, and uh, they become ready for application within one to two days. So, depending upon the condition and depending upon the uh, need uh, of pest control, uh, we can choose that what kind of preparation we are going to prepare. Hot preparations we can prepare within one to two days, and for cold preparations we have to wait for thirty, forty, or sometimes one week or fortnightly uh, interval. Uh, depending upon the type of preparation they take uh, different time interval so cold uh, now we will discuss about cold preparations for insect and pest management so here i uh, request all the participant uh, to uh, not only just listen uh, the presentation uh, they should involve themselves uh, and uh, you should feel that you are going to prepare the Uh, preparations uh, you are not just listening the uh, lecture so uh, first we will discuss about preparation of nimastra nimastra is a very simple preparation as a, its name denotes that it is a product prepared from neem mainly neem leaf that is nimastra uh -huh. neem is a very uh, popular pest repellent plant uh, uh, generally grown throughout india Uh, in uh, around all subtropical region of our country neem is a very popular tree it is not only uh, having the pest repellent property but it is also uh, a very uh, uh, well known medicine uh, to treat human diseases as, as well as livestock diseases so on our organic farm we must have uh, few trees of uh, neem so that we can get neem leaves uh, neem kernels and many uh, neem parts which can be used uh, either to treat human being or to treat our livestock or to control insect pest and disease at our organic farm so uh, to prepare nimastra uh, it is a very simple cold preparation uh, it is prepared by using neem leaves uh, cow urine and dung uh, uh, and uh, it is a uh, uh, use Uh, to manage a variety of sucking pest and smaller caterpillars means uh, that initial stages of 
caterpillars of many crops. So nowadays, uh, you might be knowing that due to uh, global warming and uh, changing climatic scenario, lot of minor and miniature, miniature pests are becoming a uh, big problem in our crops, like mites, thrips, aphids, white fly, and they are also uh, spreading, uh, transmitting many of the virus diseases. So they are not only harmful for the crops, but they are also harmful by transmitting several kinds of virus diseases. To manage those kinds of, uh, those kind of insects, Nimastra is a very good preparation. Uh, organic as well as herbal preparation, it can be used to control those kind of pests, insect pests. So for preparation of Nimastra, uh, here you can see in picture, we need neem leaf, we make uh, it in a form of paste, uh, cow urine, it is there in bucket, and uh, cow dung. If cow dung or cow urine is not available, you can take buffalo or other live stock urine and dung. So this is the uh, production protocol of uh, preparation protocol of uh, Nimastra. Take five kg of fresh neem leaves or five kg of neem seed kernel of three to eight month old. Uh, crush uh, the material to make them in fine small pieces with the help of a mixer grinder. After that, add that crushed leaves or uh, paste of that uh, kernel in 100 liter of water in a plastic drum. And then add uh, 5 liter of cow urine and 1 kg of cow dung. Uh, then mix the content thoroughly with the help of a wooden stick for about 2 to 3 minutes and cover the mouth of drum with the help of fine cloth or a gunny bag and incubate it for 48 hours, means uh, about 2 days. Style the content uh, three times a day for two to three minutes with the help of wooden stick. And after 48 hours, or you may say after two days, filter the whole content with a fine mesh and cloth and spray on the crop. Now your preparation is ready to use on your crop. So Nimastra takes two days to become ready. Uh, uh, so this is a cold preparation which uh, can be prepared within Three, uh, two days. So here uh, this is the pictorial uh, uh, representation of uh, preparation of Nimastra. Uh, the earlier uh, batches of certified farm advisor, uh, they were preparing Nimastra at our experimental unit, uh, waste recycling unit. Here you can see that participants are adding the ingredient in the drum uh, of the Nimastra and uh, right side uh, you are stirring the uh, content with the help of wooden stick. Here, uh, again, you are stirring the uh, whole content and uh, in right side, you are covering the uh, 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 drum, uh, mouth of drum with the help of a cotton cloth. So in two days, Nivastra will become ready. And uh, now coming to the application of Nivastra, Nimastra or neem cow urine extract are easy to prepare uh, within two to four days. And fresh Nimastra, 5% uh, 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 solution of it uh, can control several kind of insect pests uh, like aphid, jesse, millibug, thrips, white fly, smaller caterpillars, and sucking pests. So, uh, a variety of uh, minor and uh, Miniature insects, uh, insect pests can be controlled easily by using uh, Nimastra. And uh, uh, for uh, spraying up one hectare of area, about 800 to 1000 liter solution is required. Uh, here uh, you must uh, keep in your mind that many a times, in case of uh, natural farming book or uh, in uh, organic farming book, uh, you will find that. Uh, 200 liter solution will be sufficient for one acre. But whenever you are going to spray a insecticide or uh, uh, that fungicide, about 800 to 1000 liter of solution of uh, all kind of pesticide will, uh, will be required to uh, spray your crop properly uh, uh, in case uh, in an area of one hectare. But uh, mostly, uh, it is written that only 200 or to uh, 300 uh, liter solution will be sufficient for one hectare. That is a uh, completely uh, wrong uh, statement. Uh, 
so you must use it uh, at least 800 uh, to 1000 liter of solution of any kind of uh, either insecticide pesticide uh, except herbicide in case of herbicide uh, only 500 to 600 liter solution is required for spraying one hectare area with the help of a normal knife sack sprayer so now our next uh, preparation is the spurning extract whenever it is a very very useful uh, uh, product to control a variety of insect pests at our organic farm whenever you are planning to start organic farming you must prepare the spurning extract in advance because it takes about 30 to 45 days to become ready so in advance of start of the cropping period you must have a ready made uh, herbal insecticide at your farm the spurni is one of them and uh, once it is prepared it can be used for next 6 uh, months so in uh, one year you have to prepare the spurni for only two times if you will prepare it in january you can use it uh, up to the uh, june and uh, next you prepare it in june you can use it from july to december so this is a kind of uh, herbal uh, or organic pesticides which can be used like just like ready made insecticide uh, to control a variety of uh, pests at uh, your organic farm and it can be stored for a longer period of time so now you are uh, going to prepare uh, the spurni extract uh, 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 the spurni, as its name denotes, uh, it is prepared from using the leaf of dust means ten in Hindi. Dust uh, means ten, uh, so ten types of different herbs which are having the pest repellent property or pest killing property. So the spurni is prepared from ten different kind of uh, pest repellent plant leaves and uh, with the help of that cow dung, cow urine. to ferment it so uh, from uh, north india to south india and east india to west india uh, i will give the example of about 20 to 25 plants any uh, 10 of them uh, first five will be compulsory but uh, from rest of the plants any uh, four to five uh, five to six plant can be uh, used in combination to uh, prepare the dasparni extract so first one is neem as a drasta indica uh, and uh, here you can uh, note down that neem is required in 5 kg uh, quantity and rest of other plant leaves are required only in 2 kg quantity so one first one neem will be required in 5 kg uh, quantity and rest of other uh, plant leaves will be required only 2 kg quantity so neem as a drasta indica then mango everybody know uh, popular fruit custard apple you know uh, karanj pongamia pinata you know here i uh, request from all the participants uh, that if you have some doubt about these plants you can ask so everybody uh, understand about all these plants yes sir yes. please respond karanj yes. you know pongamia yes. pinata a very yes. uh, popular biofuel plant and medicinal plant Castor resinous cumulus is there. I'll see it crop in South India. The tura, you know, a medicinal herb as well as toxic herb. Bell, agil marmelas, a very popular fruit. Madar, ak hakoda. In South India, its common name is different, but Calotropis. Uh, you can easily uh, guess uh, the plant with its name. Uh, Bear, Jispus mauritiana, papaya, Carica papaya. here I, i want to tell that neem uh, uh, that uh, plants with red color neem custard apple dhatura uh, then uh, a at eighth number calotropis and then 10th number papaya they are compulsory all these five plants must be there in uh, uh, that uh, the spurni preparation and rest five plants <laughs> can be taken Uh, depending upon their availability uh, from locality to locality so uh, if uh, the, these five plants will be there uh, the efficacy of that uh, so the spurni will be repeat the better. five plants sir and uh, that red color one 
here in presentation you can uh, see that uh, neem one custard apple datura um, uh, eighth number madar akha akoda its scientific name name is calotropis and papaya carica papaya uh, they must be there in that preparation rest of other they can be taken depending upon their availability from locality to locality uh, here uh, you can see on next slide uh, that uh, uh, babul acacia nilotica a very popular that thorny plant tree guava very popular food kanel thivetia nerifolia uh, bitter gourd leaves can also be taken marigold uh, it should uh, uh, it can also be taken tulsi osmum sanctum very popular medicinal herb in our country turmeric if you you use the is uh, leaf uh, it will be very uh, 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 good uh, ginger uh, uh, you all know about ginger uh, vitex nigondo that in nirgundi very popular pest repellent uh, uh, shrub then uh, gudhal very common hibiscus uh, uh, plant hibiscus roja sinensis popular flower and uh, that giloe amrita tinospora cardifolia or if uh, uh, any one of them are not available only 10 plants leaves are required if uh, any one of them are not available you can take any plant leaf uh, from your area either shrub or herb which is known in that area uh, uh, popular as a pest repellent plant uh, or having uh, capacity to kill uh, the insects which are the crab so depending upon locality to locality and availability of uh, the plants you can choose any ten of them but uh, if earlier uh, which i have indicated uh, if uh, those five plant leaves is taken then efficacy of the spurni will be better so uh, in addition to that uh, garlic will also be required hot chili and ginger paste in 500 gram uh, quantity each so 500 gram garlic paste 500 g hot chili and 500 g ginger uh, paste will be required to prepare the spurni along with the 10 uh, different kind of leaves so this is the preparation protocol uh, for the spurni so uh, to prepare the spurni take 5 kg of neem leaves and 2 kg leaves each uh, of any nine uh, remaining plants species which are having at uh, your locality Uh, take 10 liter cow urine 10 kg of cow dung and 500 g each of turmeric powder uh, garlic paste and ginger paste uh, earlier uh, in the spurni 1 kg tobacco was also used but uh, if you go as per the national uh, standards of organic farming tobacco leaf is uh, nicotine is banned uh, restricted use in organic farming so you can avoid the use of tobacco leaf here and 1 uh, kg of hot chili paste can also be added to uh, increase the efficiency so crush the leaves to a fine piece with the help of mixer grinder or a chaff cutter uh, mix uh, all above ingredients in 200 liter of uh, drum by using the sufficient uh, quantity of water uh, to make final volume up to 200 liter shake the mixture thrice a day with the help of a wooden stick and uh, allow the uh, content to ferment for a 30 to 40 days in case of north india if uh, temperature is low or where where any location if temperature is low uh, it will take around 40 to 45 days to become ready but if uh, temperature is hot and uh, climate is warm then it will become ready uh, for application within 30 days so depending upon the environmental condition it takes about 30 to 45 days time to become ready so after uh, 30 to 45 days filter the content with the fine cloth and store the filtrate in containers and it can be used for another 6 months so now a ready made uh, insecticide is uh, ready to apply on your uh, crop in case of organic farming now uh, you feel that you are going to prepare the spurni you are making the fine pieces of all the herbs and all the necessary ingredients you are keeping uh, putting one by one in the drum 
here you are adding all the ingredients in the drum and the spurni become ready for application uh, after uh, 30 to 45 day uh, after uh, adding all the ingredients, uh, you have the stirred hot content with the help of a wooden stick, uh, stick uh, for uh, two to three minutes during morning and evening. And uh, after stirring, uh, you cover the mouth of that uh, uh, drum with the help of a gunny bag or uh, with the help of a uh, cotton cloth. So the fermenting insect community will not enter inside the drum. So the sparni is useful to manage uh, all different kind of insect pest of the crop and orchards also. Uh, many kind of borers they attack uh, uh, in our orchards and plantation crop. So the sparni is useful to manage those kind of insect pest also. So take 300 ml of the sparni and dilute it in a tank of 15 liter of water if it is freshly prepared. Please uh, uh, listen this uh, very precisely. That if uh, your uh, the spurni is uh, freshly prepared, means it is one to two month old, then only 300 ml of its uh, quantity will be sufficient uh, in a 15 liter of water, a normal neck, uh, neck psych is prayer volume. Uh, and if it is of uh, three to four month old, then its volume should be increased a little bit. So 500 ml of the spurni should be taken if it is of three to four months old. And if it is of five to six months old, then about 1000 ml, means about one liter of uh, solution will be required per tank of 15 liter uh, for effective control of insect pest and uh, many of the insect uh, pest of the crop. So, uh, and uh, about one, uh, 800 to 1000 liter solution uh, will be required to spray uh, one hectare of the crop, or if it is used in orchard, 2000 uh, liter of whole the solution suspension will be required uh, in an uh, orchard of one hectare area. So clear? Please respond. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now we are coming to uh, prepare another uh, uh, concoction that is neem seed kernel extract. As you know, that in many of the earlier literature of integrated pest and disease management, neem seed kernel extract is a very popular preparation using neem seed kernel, and it is very, very effective to control a variety of insect pests at our farm. And in case of that virus transmitting smaller insects like aphids, white fly, thrips, mealybugs, it is very effective. So uh, it is broad spectrum formulation I used to manage a variety of insect pests, uh, many kind of borers, beetles, moths, bugs, uh, plant hoppers, uh, leaf hoppers, aphids, white flies, thrips, and many other kind of insect pests. So this is the production protocol of uh, uh, neem seed kernel extract. Take 5 uh, kg of well uh, dried neem uh, seed kernel. It should be of 3 to 8 month old. Why I am telling about uh, 3 to 8 month old only? Can anyone of uh, uh, participant respond? Why we are taking only 3 to 8 months old? Do you have any idea why neem seed kernel uh, up only three to eight months old are taken to prepare any kind of preparation? Actually, the as a in content, if it is uh, will be too early, uh, even then uh, fully matured as a in will be not there in sufficient quantity. So in three to eight months old uh, neem seed kernel, uh, that uh, sufficient amount of Azadirastin is there. Uh, after eight months, uh, the quantity of azadirastin is start decreasing in uh, neem kernel. So older than eight months, uh, that uh, neem seed kernel uh, is not preferred to prepare neem seed kernel extract. You got it? Please respond. Yeah, yeah yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thik, thik hai. So uh, that neem seed kernel, that heart uh, food should be 
uh, removed. So grind the powder gently to make fine powder uh, with the um, help of a mixer uh, grinder. Uh, and uh, uh, care should be taken that during mixing, oil should not extract from the uh, neem uh, seed kernel powder and soak the kernel powder in 10 liter of water for overnight. And uh, in next day, uh, next, next morning, start the mixture with the help of wooden plane till solution become a milky white, till a milky white solution is uh, uh, ready and filter the and squeeze the content uh, with the help of double uh, layer pine cloth. Uh, make the volume of this content uh, up to the 100 liter uh, by adding the fresh water. And uh, this is now neem seed kernel extract and take 200 gram of khadi soap. Uh, uh, you can add in this to uh, increase its stickiness or uh, uh, with the leaf, stickiness uh, of this solution with the leaf. So mix the solution thoroughly and uh, it, uh, it, it is now ready for the spray. So application of neem seed kernel extract for spraying uh, on our crop, 5% of its solution or 750 uh, ml of uh, 15 liter tank uh, can be used for spraying. Why I am uh, repeatedly mentioning about 15 liter tank? Uh, because uh, most of the farmers use knapsack sprayer that is of only uh, 15 liter uh, quantity. If it is of 20 liter uh, quantity, then accordingly you have to adjust the volume of uh, any kind of preparation which, are you, uh, which you are going to spray. So generally 15 liter tank is used. So if we, uh, in a uh, farmer language, uh, most of the farmer ask that uh, saab, uh, uh, ek tanki mein kitna spray karenge. means how much quantity we should uh, spray in one tank. So generally tank is of 15 liter. So accordingly, if you will tell the volume, that is a very easier for farmer to apply on his or her field. So uh, evening sprays are more effective. Evening means uh, at 2 to 3 p.m. or between 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, if you will spray any kind of uh, chemical insecticide or uh, that uh, organic uh, pesticides, they will be very much effective. Now we are coming uh, for hot preparations uh, for insect pest management at our organic farm. So we have discussed earlier uh, in a real uh, slide that uh, uh, hot, if we don't have much time uh, for preparation of the sperni and other uh, uh, organic preparations, then hot preparations uh, are option uh, to prepare then even within one day. Even within one day, if uh, they become uh, cool, they can be applied. Or uh, if you have time, next day, uh, today you prepare and next day you can use them on uh, your crop. So uh, coming to the uh, first uh, heart preparation, uh, first one is Agni Astra. It is a very good uh, preparation uh, uh, for control of uh, different kind of insect pests in case of organic as well as natural farming. In natural farming, Agni Astra, Brahmastra, Dasparni extract, they are very popular uh, preparations for insect pest and uh, uh, sometimes disease management. So it is a botanical formulation prepared by using neem leaf, chili fruits, garlic, and cow urine. Why its name is Agni Astra? Means Agni means that hot means a very uh, 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 dangerous uh, preparation against the insect, you can say. So it can be prepared instantly for management of a variety of insect pests. Uh, the ingredients required that neem leaves, uh, that garlic paste, hot chili, and uh, cow urine. Cow or any other livestock urine can be used. So take 500 gram each of uh, green and hot chili and garlic and five kg of fresh neem leaves. Crush all the three materials to make a fine paste. Uh, add crushed materials in 20 liter of cow urine and mix uh, it thoroughly. Uh, boil the content uh, with intermittent stirring with the help of wooden stick 
for a period of about 20 minutes. After that, cool the content for about uh, 48 hours, mean two days. Filter the content with fine cotton cloth and take five to six liter of filtrate and dilute it in 250 liter of water for uh, spraying uh, one hectare crop. It, this volume is retained in many of the natural farming book. But for effective control of pest and diseases, you must use at least 800 liter of any kind of solution in one hectare of crop. So this is the pictorial representation of uh, preparation of Agni Astra. You are making the fine paste of all the ingredients that is neem leaves, uh, chili, uh, garlic, and then you are uh, 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 keeping a drum or any other utensil over the gas stove and uh, adding the ingredient one by one here. Yeah. Uh, uh, you are adding the ingredient on gas stove. After adding all the ingredient, you uh, switch on the gas stove and uh, boil it uh, till its uh, volume becomes half, half of the original volume. So uh, after uh, boiling up uh, about one hour, it will become ready. So here you are preparing the Agni Astra. Now Agni Astra is ready and finally you are taking the Agni Astra from uh, that utensils. Manohar ji, Manohar, mute kar diya karo yaar. So now we are coming to the application of Agni Astra. The Agni Astra is used to manage different kind of stem borers, food borers, and other different types of caterpillars. Uh, you know, if uh, 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 there are different stages of insect larvae, uh, first install larvae, second install larvae, third star and final star larvae. So if uh, old age larvae are there on your crop, they are very difficult to be controlled by normal organic pesticides. So Ag Agni Astra work very well on those kind of caterpillars. So many of the fruit borer and uh, uh, stem borer and uh, different kind of caterpillars of uh, old, older age. Uh, sometimes uh, if you will uh, visit your crop, annual crops like uh, pulsage, uh, you will find big caterpillars, hairy caterpillar, Bihar hairy caterpillar, red hairy caterpillar, black type of caterpillar uh, on uh, very, very old age, of very old age. So on those type of caterpillar, Agniastra will work nicely. So take 350 ml of Agniastra uh, in 15 uh, liter time and 800 to 1000 liter of solution is required to spray on one hectare of crop. So now coming to the preparation of Brahmastra, it is also a, a cow urine uh, and herbal based formulations uh, effective to control a variety of uh, insect pests at our organic farm. Uh, and it is also effective uh, to control larger size caterpillar of your crops, archers and uh, many other crops. So for preparation of Brahmastra, here you can see the ingredients required are cow urine, datura leaves, custard apple, pongamia leaves, and neem leaf. Pongamia that is karanja, <coughs> pongamia pinnata. So uh, you have to have gas stove and uh, that uh, utensils uh, according to the volume of uh, that uh, your uh, preparation you are going to prepare. So. Uh, this is the production uh, preparation protocol. Uh, 3 kg of fresh neem leaves and 2 kg of karanj, pungamia pinata leaves. Uh, if uh, karanj leaves are not available, take 5 kg of uh, leaf instead of 3 kg and crush them uh, into a fine piece, pieces. Take 2 kg of custard apple leaves and 2 kg of dhatura leaves and crush them uh, into fine pieces or make them in, into a uh, paste form. Mix all the ingredients uh, of crushed leaf in 10 liter of cow urine and boil the mixture for about 20 to 30 minutes. 
uh, after 20 to 30 minutes, uh, uh, keep the uh, content for cooling for about two days. After two days, filter the content with the help of uh, fine cotton cloth. And now material is uh, ready for spray. So uh, the 350 ml of ready Brahmastra or filtrate uh, can be used in a 15 liter uh, uh, tank for spraying and about 800 to 1000 uh, liter of uh, solution will be required to spray one hectare area of the crop. So you are coming to prepare the Brahmastra. Uh, you have taken the utensils, uh, you have switched on the gas stove. Uh, first you have uh, added the, that cow urine and in that you are uh, adding uh, all the paste uh, of the uh, paste repellent plants one by one. And uh, finally, uh, uh, you are boiling the material till its volume become half. It will take about 20 to 30 minutes. So, and uh, you will also stir all the content uh, in between just one minute. Haji, good morning. So sorry for disturbance. Actually, uh, I have to attend a, a important call. Uh, so uh, uh, you are you have uh, prepared the Brahmastra. Uh, it's a, a volume uh, now become half of the original volume. Now it is ready for cooling. So uh, after uh, cooling for two days, Brahmastra become ready for application and uh, uh, it is uh, useful to control large size caterpillars of different kind of uh, insect pests of the crops. So 350 ml of uh, ready brahm is required uh, per tank of 15 liter and uh, to spray one hectare area of the crop about 800 to 1000 liter solution will be required. So, and uh, we are going to prepare uh, our next preparation that the chili garlic extract. As you know, uh, uh, by its name, it is prepared from the paste of chili and garlic uh, and uh, with the help of cow urine. So to prepare a good uh, chili garlic extract, uh, we have to have hot chili, uh, fresh hot chili, garlic, neem leaf, uh, ipomia and uh, that is uh, also known as morning glory then cow urine these are the ingredients to prepare chili garlic extract and uh, this is the preparation protocol take about 500 uh, gram each of hot chili fruits and garlic bulbs and make uh, uh, them in the form of a paste and take 5 kg of neem and one kg of hypomia leaves and crush them into fine pieces or uh, make the paste with the help of a mixer grinder. Then mix all above uh, crushed ingredients in 10 liter of 
cow urine boil the mixture till its volume become half cool the mixture for about 24 hours and uh, filter the content will the help of fine cotton cloth uh, and fill the filtrate in the bottles and uh, it will be uh, now it can be used for spraying at your on your crops so here uh, you are going to prepare uh, that uh, chili garlic extract so uh, first of all you are making the fine paste of all the leaves and ingredients then in utensils uh, you are switching on the uh, gas uh, and then uh, you are adding uh, first cow urine and then other ingredients one by one into that tub and uh, then uh, uh, you keep uh, it uh, on boiling for about uh, uh, half an hour in uh, about half uh, an hour uh, uh, boiling with continuous uh, stirring with the help of a wooden stick Uh, that preparation become ready uh, and then you will keep it for cooling for about uh, 24 hours so uh, after it's uh, it become ready uh, it can be filtered with the help of fine uh, cloths uh, cotton cloths and uh, you can spray it on uh, your crop so it can uh, that chili garlic extract uh, effectively controls different kind of leaf, leaf roller system fruit and pod borers of many annual crops and 350 ml of this filtrate uh, can be used uh, in a tank of 15 liter for spraying and uh, uh, this was uh, uh, all about there are so many hot and cold preparations uh, it was just to show you how a different kind of cold preparations are prepared and different kind of hot preparations are prepared so accordingly uh, you can prepare all kind of uh, cold and hot preparations as per the their uh, written protocol and uh, you can uh, use them to control effectively control different kind of pest and disease at your organic farm now we uh, we will discuss little bit about Uh, that uh, bio control agents uh, for uh, insect pest and uh, disease management uh, at our organic farm as you all know that uh, uh, bivaria vaisiana metarhizium and isopheli are very well known uh, fungal bio control agent to control a variety of insect pest and not only the larval stages all kind of uh, stages can be uh, infected by these uh, uh, bio agents and uh, uh, that uh, mass production of these biogens will be uh, lecture will be covered or a demonstration will be given by uh, experts from nihm hyderabad i will jo- just so that how they are uh, applied into in the field to effectively control insect pest and uh, insect pest of your crop so uh, they can be applied with the help of spray or they can be uh, applied uh, in soil uh, as you know many of the uh, soil insects like uh, termites and white grubs uh, they are different stages like uh, grub and adult uh, and larvae they are active in soil and uh, they attack the roots of our crop and cause very uh, much damage so to control them and uh, the soil application of these biogens is effective uh, and 25 kg of uh, formulation of bivaria vaisiana or metarhizium uh, can be applied uh, in soil uh, and uh, about 25 uh, kg of formulation can be dissolved in 1000 liter of water and uh, you can spray over your crop to control variety of uh, insect pest uh, these are the some pictorial uh, representation of uh, that formulation and mycelium structure and uh, killing of insect by bivaria vaisiana there is one uh, uh, company uh, international panacea limited uh, uh, its product uh, is uh, uh, with the name of daman it is a very a good uh, formulation of bivaria vaisiana and many many company they also prepare uh, bivaria vaisiana formulation uh, according to uh, their availability in your area you can uh, uh, take uh, uh, their formulation to effective control of different kind of insect pest uh, in your crops and uh, white grub as you know 
it is very difficult to control. But uh, these Bivaria vaisiana and Metarhizium, uh, they are very effective in controlling uh, white grub. If you will make the soil application of Bivaria or Metarhizium, uh, that moving uh, stages of uh, different uh, white grubs uh, will be infected by uh, the spores of uh, either Bivaria or Metarhizium and ultimately they will become diseased and will be killed by uh, severe infection by those biogens. Uh, and uh, finally, you will find a good control of uh, these insects. Uh, for termites, control also, and uh, Bivaria and Metarhizium formulation are very effective. Here you can see how nicely that Metarhizium with slightly pale green color uh, how effectively it infect and control the adult stages of uh, different kind of insects and beetles. Trichogramma, uh, I think rice and sugarcane, they are the major cereal and commercial crop throughout India, from north to south India. And many kind of uh, uh, that uh, lepidra, lepidopteran pest attack uh, these, uh, our these crops. Uh, during summer months uh, that uh, on uh, sugarcane also and uh, on rice also. There is a single biocontrol agent, trichogramma, different species of uh, this biogen. Uh, this actually, this is a parasitoid uh, and it is a kind of egg parasitoid, a kind of wasp parasitizing eggs of different kind of caterpillars and borers of rice, uh, sugarcane and many other crops. So if uh, you will make uh, the massive use of trichogramma, about four to five releases during one crop season, completely controls, or effectively controls various kind of uh, borers and caterpillars in your crop. So if uh, you will make proper use of these biogens, you need not apply any insecticide to control those borers. So a single wipe control agent, if you will uh, uh, properly use it uh, in your rice, uh, 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 in uh, sugarcane and many other crops, uh, it will give a effective control of different kind of borers uh, in your organic farm. So this is the field release of trichogramma. Trichogramma here is uh, available in the farm of a uh, trico card. About uh, 10,000 to 20,000 uh, parasitoid eggs are pasted over a card and uh, in one hectare area, uh, uh, about uh, uh, 25 to 6 card are required at a time and you have to release them uh, for, a, uh, for uh, 4 to 5 times uh, at 25 days interval. So it will give effective control of many kind of uh, borers and caterpillars in of your crop. So uh, if uh, you are going for organic farming, uh, you must uh, uh, know what are the beneficial insects, what are your friends, and what are your enemy at your organic farm. Many a times, farmer comes with a, a crop sample uh, uh, on which some beneficial insects are present, and farmer will complain that the sahab ye hamara insect nuksan kar raha hai, means this particular insect is damaging our crop. But in fact, uh, that is benefic beneficial insect. So a farmer or farm manager or any advisor uh, of organic farming must know what kind of insects are beneficial in our cropping system and what kind of insects are harmful to our crops. Accordingly, you have to manage them. If they are beneficial, try to increase their population in your uh, agro ecosystem with the help of modification of the environment. Up, or if uh, they are damaging insects, try to control them with the help of uh, different non-chemical methods or biocontrol agents. So these are the some uh, farmer friendly insects. Uh, on left side, you can see that uh, green lace wing. It's adult and uh, grub both are effective in uh, controlling many kind of uh, soft bodied insects. Uh, this is a predator and in middle, you can see that ladybird beetle, it is also a predatory uh, uh, beneficial insect, uh, which feeds on several kind of uh, uh, soft bodied insect like aphid, white flies, and uh, mealybug and many others. And it also gives effective control of uh, many of the uh, insect pests of our crop. 
and in the right side you can see that hoar fly hoar fly adult are very good pollinator uh, it uh, looks like just a small honey bee uh, if you uh, uh, observe uh, flowers of your crop during uh, month of uh, february to april uh, in case of north india you will see a lot of small flies uh, which looks like a small honey bee they are visiting the flowers of uh, your orchard or your crops uh, generally they are uh, hover fly uh, their adults are a very good pollinator and uh, below that you can see uh, their uh, larvae is there caterpillar is there and it is a very good uh, predator of many of the soft bodied insect it is predating on aphid so it is beneficial in two way uh, on one side it is increasing the pollination of our crop and increasing the yield and another way it is uh, controlling its uh, larval stage controlling the pest so we must uh, know we must uh, identify these beneficial insect and try to increase their population in our agro ecosystem uh, for a effective pest management system these are also some uh, beneficial insects we must know about the if they are present uh, at our organic farm there is very good indication that our uh, organic farm is a full of natural enemy and there is a self uh, and natural control of pests here you can see that mantids many of the soil insects which are feeding on many uh, uh, harmful insects and many of the wasp uh, spiders you know is uh, conserving and uh, maintaining the spider population is very effective in controlling insect pest uh, in rice crop in uh, case of south india so according to the uh, nature of that uh, natural enemy uh, we can manipulate our uh, habitat of crop to increase their population and uh, we can promote the effective self control or natural control of pest at our organic farm uh here uh, there is some uh, uh, there are some bio uh, control agents which are uh, bacillus thuringiensis it can also be used to control different kind of insect uh, pest it is a entomopathogenic bacteria and many of the commercial formulations are available uh, to control different kind of uh, insect pest for cauliflower and brinjal tomato cotton okra sunflower cabbage uh, uh about 0.5 to uh, 1 kg of commercial formulation will be required uh, in for one hectare of area and uh, generally they are uh, used to control diamond black moth that is a very severe pest of coal crops uh, and uh, fruits and shoot borer of brinjal you know a, a wide spread problem of brinjal and uh, in tomato and uh, many other crops helco arpa it is a kind of polyphagous insect pest it is problematic in many crops uh, so tobacco caterpillar another uh, big polyphagous pest in our india so all these major uh, insect pests can be effectively managed by use of uh, bacillus thuringiensis so in our organic farming we can make the uh, effective use of bacillus thuringiensis to control a variety of major pests entomopathogenic viruses uh, generally they are available for two different kind of uh, uh, insect pest one is uh, helco arpa armigera pod borer you know very well and spodoptera litura that is tobacco caterpillar for uh, these two major pests uh, two types of formulation are available in india hnpv and uh, slnpv so according to your uh, pest you can uh, choose the type of uh, the formulation of entomopathogenic virus and you can uh, use them for effective control of these major pests in uh, your uh, in your organic farm and uh, now we are going to discuss uh, a little bit about uh, the di uh, different formulations uh, कंबो साहब जुड़ गए हैं क्या कंबो सर यस सर सर बस पांच सात मिनट मैं और लूंगा उसके बाद सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन यूज टू मैनेज डिजीज इन नेचुरल आर ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग सो पंजगब्या इज वन ऑफ देम 
uh, as you know, Panchagabya is uh, prepared uh, using five products, uh, byproducts of your livestock, and uh, it uh, promotes uh, your grow, uh, growth of your crops uh, by providing some essential nutrients, uh, growth factors, and uh, it is uh, also uh, boosting the immunity of your crop plants. And uh, overall, uh, it protects your crop plants from many of the uh, fungal, bacterial, and viral diseases of the crops. So this is the uh, production uh, uh, preparation protocol for uh, Panchagabya. Uh, uh, mix thoroughly fresh cow dung, 7 kg, and uh, 1 kg of uh, cow ghee uh, in a drum, and incubate uh, the content for a period of two days. After that, uh, uh, add cow urine. Uh, uh, that is 3 liter and 10 liter of water and stir the content properly with the help of a wooden stick and uh, 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 in morning and uh, evening uh, for about one week. After one week, that is a step through. And after one week, uh, add sugar cane juice, 3 liter, add cow milk, 2 liter, uh, 2 liter of cow curd, uh, 3 liter of coconut water, and uh, 100 gram yeast and 12 well ripened banana fruits. So that is step three. In three step, <coughs> all the ingredients are added after uh, one by one. And the whole mixture is uh, to be incubated for about two weeks again. So overall, uh, it takes about 25 days time to become ready for application. And after it become ready, contain the uh, filter through a double layer muslin cloth and store the bottle uh, in a refrigerator and you can use as per your convenience. So panchagabya, you are going to prepare panchagabya. Uh, you are adding the ingredients of first step in uh, uh, a drum. <coughs> after that, uh, you are adding the ingredients of step two and ingredients of step three. And finally, you have added all the ingredients after two weeks. And uh, now, uh, left side, uh, this is the stage of, after two weeks. And on right side, that is ready punch gabbia, how it look like. And uh, this is the ready punch gabbia. Now, application of punch gabbia, it can be applied through foliar spray or soil application or seed treatment. So, if you want to apply it as a foliar spray, so 3% uh, percent of uh, its uh, solution can be used to spray on your crops. And uh, if uh, you are going to make it soil application, so 50 liter of panchgabya uh, can be applied to irrigation water at the rate of uh, 50 liter per hectare. And uh, if you want to apply it with the seed, so 3% solution uh, is used to treat your seeds for a period of five to 10 minutes. And after that, you can sow your seed. So uh, time of application, uh, uh, if uh, you want to apply in a standing crop, so before flowering, uh, if you uh, give two spray at 15 days interval and at flowering and grain setting stage, if you will give two spray at 10 day interval and at a grain uh, 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 filling or fruit development stage, if you will provide one spray, there will be a uh, immunity boosting to your crop and uh, there will be a good result uh, and your crop will be uh, saved from the infection of many diseases and overall health of plant will be improved. And another product uh, generally used to control uh, different kind of diseases at your organic farm is fermented buttermilk. It is a very simple uh, uh, formulation. Uh, we need not other ingredients, only just uh, buttermilk uh, is fermented for about 14 days, uh, means two to three weeks, and one liter of it can be diluted in 10 liter of water, and it can be spread uh, over our crop to control a uh, variety of diseases in a preventive mode. So you need not to wait uh, for diseases to attack your crop uh, at uh, some fixed interval you make the application of uh, fermented buttermilk at your crop, it will save your crop from the attack of different kind of disease. And trichoderma, that is a master biocontrol agent. Uh, in uh, uh, 
some another class i will take a, a detailed lecture on that how to go for the mass multiplication of trichoderma so in our organic farming it is a very important uh, biocontrol agent for the control of many kind of fungal diseases so if you are going to plan for insect pest and uh, disease management in organic farming so you must uh, have uh, the formulation of trichoderma because it is very useful to control uh, di different kind of uh, soil borne root borne and foliar disease of your many crops so many of the companies are now uh, uh, having uh, the formulation of uh, trichoderma uh, so it is available in the market it is also helpful to manage the nematodes uh, particularly root knot nematode so it can also be applied in soil uh, it also promote the growth growth and it is also useful for residue decomposition in your organic farming so it is helpful in many way it promotes the growth it recycle the many nutrients it controls plant parasitic nematodes and uh, it controls many kind of uh, diseases of the crops so these are the application uh, procedures for trichoderma uh, farm uh, residue decomposition you can spray over the residue and uh, uh, you can uh, then subject it uh, that uh, trichoderma is spread ready to for decomposition and uh, for plant pathogen and nematode control you can uh, apply trichoderma through seed treatment or bio priming uh, about 5 to 10 gram per liter of water uh, the formulation is required to treat seed or seedling material and seedling dip can be done for about 20 minutes soil application about 5 kg of trichoderma formulation will be required generally it is used during land preparation before sowing and foliar spraying uh, in standing crop to control many of the foliar diseases uh, caused by rhizoctonia and many other fungal pathogens uh, about 5 to 10 gram per liter of trichoderma formulation is uh, taken and about 800 to 1000 liter of final suspension is required to spray one hectare of crop. Uh, seed bio-priming is nothing but uh, 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 after seed treatment, suppose uh, tomorrow you are uh, going to uh, sow a particular crop uh, seed. So today evening, uh, you treat your seed uh, with the help of trichoderma or other biogens and you incubate the treated seed, uh, seed for overnight. What will happen during uh, night? that uh, spores of trichoderma and other biogens will germinate and uh, live cells will uh, 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 multiply over the seed surface and they will be easily established after sowing into that uh, in and around the seed. So uh, uh, they will establish early and uh, they will start their activity as seed uh, start germination. So they uh, seed bio-priming uh, and uh, gives effective control of uh, disease if uh, you, uh, you uh, use the uh, seed treatment method with seed bioprising. These are the some pictorial uh, uh, diagram of uh, the seed bioprising, means establishment and germination of uh, uh, spores of uh, the trichoderma over the seed surface. And uh, these, uh, these are the some pictures uh, showing that how trichoderma is coiling around the hypi of rhizoctonia and how it is killing the uh, rhizoctonia. And uh, this is the uh, uh, trichoderma mycelium, how they are trapping the uh, second stage juvenile insects, uh, juvenile sap that melidogana root knot uh, nematode. And uh, same slide. And uh, soil solarization is a very good practice. Uh, to control many of the uh, uh, soil borne diseases at nursery stage. As you know, in, uh, the seeds of uh, many of the vegetables, they are very costly, many thousand rupees per kg of seed. So uh, if uh, 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 some disease like damping up will come in your nursery, they will vanish your nursery within uh, one to two days. So to effectively control many kind of weeds and many kind of soil borne insects and many kind of diseases, uh, the particularly soil borne diseases. Soil solarization is very effective practice. 
so uh, at least for nursery growing area uh, at organic farm we must sow nursery after soil sterilization uh, for two months during may to june so there is detailed protocol for soil sterilization we can follow those protocol to soil sterilize or nursery area and after sterilization only you grow the nursery and uh, plastic mulch can also be uh, used in uh, case of organic farming here you can see that uh, cauliflower crop uh, in middle plot uh, you can see the black color polythene mulching uh, in a tropical area where uh, bright sunshine is there uh, you can go for the mulching with uh, transparent polythene seed but in case of uh, during winter season in north india we can go for mulching with black color polythene seed so it will increase the soil temperature also it will enhance the mineralization of nutrients also and it will conserve the soil moisture and it will uh, protect your crop from infestation of several kind of weeds so in that way plastic mulching uh, is very effective to control different kind of pest and diseases as well as improve the nutrient availability to your crops and overall it will increase the yield of your crop but you have to tune the application of uh, uh, that plastic mulch according to condition or local temperature conditions so plastic mulching is a very useful technique to control weeds also to control diseases also and to promote the growth uh, and yield of your crop so these were um, some of the uh, production protocol of different kind of organic and herbal preparations and different bio control agents which uh, i wanted to share with you so now the session is open for discussion you for uh, you are uh, uh, having some query or uh, one to two important questions uh, i welcome to answer those questions otherwise after that uh, uh, very important is speaker is there sri mukesh kambod ji he will share his experience on uh, farmers view of farming farming so any query or questions from participants